32 years ago, when I was 20 years old, I heard that surgeon tell me the tumor was malignant. He then asked about my possible exposures to toxic chemicals, and I didn't know then that his questions would become my life's work. And I certainly couldn't have imagined in that moment, this moment right now. All thanks, of course, begin with the Heinz Family Foundation and with Teresa Heinz Carey. At Teresa's environmental health conferences, I have seen emerging scientific knowledge be taken up by cancer survivors who are fighting for environmental human rights. That communion of science and activism inspires me. Thank you, Teresa. Perhaps the best way to express my gratitude for this honor is to say how I intend to spend the money that comes with it. I will be devoting the $100,000 prize to the fight against fracking in upstate New York. Fracking uses fresh water and toxic chemicals as a club to shatter the bedrock of our nation in order to liberate oil and gas. Fracking is an extreme form of fossil fuel extraction that takes us further down a ruinous energy pathway and threatens to add more data points to cancer registries. Natural gas is also the feedstock for synthetic fertilizer and it's the cause of the dead zone in the ocean. And natural gas is the starting point for anhydrous ammonia synthetic fertilizer, which is why corn is so cheap. So I feel as though my work is part of the whole community of work that's done here tonight. In rural New York, we have seen how large checks from the fossil fuel industry beget silence, complicity, and fatalistic resignation. So I am now interested in the opposite direct, the opposite gesture, directing a large check into my community in a way that enables speech, emboldens activism, and recognizes that the true security for our children lies in preserving the abiding ecology of our planet on which their lives depend. I'll let you know how it turns out. <laughs> Thank you so much for this honor and this opportunity to animate a vision of the unfractured future. I hope you are listening, Governor Cuomo.